टू एवरी वन वेलकम बैक टू माई चैनल लॉग रोलिंग आ रे तेल आई एम बैक विद दी पार्ट थ्री ऑफ एडमिशन अपडेट ट्वेंटी एटीन टूडेज वीडियो विल गिव यू डिटेल्स अबाउट द लेटेस्ट एडमिशन अलाउट्स और अपडेट्स इन द यूनिवर्सिटी ऑफ पेट्रोलियम एंड एनर्जी स्टडीज देहरादून ऑल्सो और बेटर नोन एज यू पी ई एस नो बिफोर वी बिगिन विद द मेन कंटेंट लेट मी टेल यू अ फ्यू थिंग्स अबाउट दिस यूनिवर्सिटी The University of Petroleum and Energy Studies is an Indian university located in Dehradun, Uttarakhand, known traditionally for its education and research in the fields of energy and power. This university is recognized by the UGC grant and is accredited B grade by the NAC Society, which is National Assessment and Accreditation Council. UPES has established academic alliances with more than 100 leading universities across 40 plus con- countries through their laureate network for more information on this and other you can visit their website which is www.upes.ac.in now so coming uh, down to the co- the courses which, which are offered by this university are mba they offer mba they offer m design m tech b tech b design and llb courses okay now the first in uh, now let's browse through the various courses and the exams the first one is the upes management entrance test which is uh, abbreviated as upes net and for this uh, for the coming session ups any ups met 2018 the candidates with f- minimum 50% marks in class 10th and 12th and in graduation can seek admission to this mba program by ups it will be an offline exam okay and the exam will be conducted on 11th march 2018 and the last day to apply for the, uh, the mba program is 5 march 2018 so you, you need to keep in mind that 50% marks is is the minimum eli- minimum eligibility criteria you need to have at least 50% marks in 10th and 12th for you to be able to apply for this particular program now the next program that they are offering are is the btech program okay the btech program for btech program they conduct ups online aptitude test for admission 2018 okay they conduct an online admission uh, test now the criteria eligibility criteria for btech program is first criteria is that class 12th aspiring student or pass out students they should have a pcm background that is they should have physics chemistry and maths in their class 12 and second eligibility criteria is that in class 10th they should have at least 60% total aggregate marks okay so at least 60% in class 10th is necessary and you should uh, the person who is applying for btech at ups should uh, should have physics chemistry and math background in the class 12th now the result result will come out within 2 days of taking the test conditional offer letter will be released with the condition of securing minimum 60% total aggregate marks in class 12 and in class 12 pcm okay that is in the total percentage should also be at least 60% and the in pcm that is physics chemistry and math should also have at least 60% of marks only then you can apply for btech courses Now coming on to the test dates, UPES online aptitude test have multiple rounds. So the first is the first exam date uh, and second and I think the third one has also has been like are already over. The fourth, the coming up exam date is seventeenth December, twenty seventeen. So the fourth round of exam will be, can be taken up on seventeenth December, twenty seventeen. for which the last date to apply is 15 december 2017 then 
After that, you can take up the exam on 24 December 2017, for which the last date is 22nd December to apply, is 20, 22nd December. After that, you can take up thir uh, the exam on 31st December 2017, and for which the last date to apply is 29 December 2017. And the last round of exam will be held on 7th January 2018, for which the last date to apply is 31st December 2017. Now the list of programs that they offer in under the BTEC program include BTEC Geoscience Engineering, BTEC Geoinformatics Engineering, BTEC Mechatronics Engineering, BTEC Electronics and Communication Engineering, BTEC Electrical Engineering, BTEC Civil Engineering, Specialization in Infrastructure Development, BTEC Fire and Safety Engineering, BTEC CSC with a specialization in AI. AI is Artificial Intelligence and Machine Learning. Okay. Then BTEC CSC with a specialization in Mainframe Technology. There are very, the whole list is mentioned here and you can also look up on their website. Now, coming on to their next course that they are offering is LLM, LLM or Law, which is a UPES Law Studies Aptitude Test for which they conduct UPES Law Studies Aptitude Test. Now for LLM, the last date to apply and the date of examination has yet not been announced. So you will have to uh, keep visiting their website for those who are who want to apply for the LLM course. And there are two pathways for LLB admission. One is the examination pathway, where up to 80% seats are reserved for the examination pathway, and the remaining 20% seats, uh, sorry, seats are filled through the board merit CLAT or LSAT India category. Okay. Now LLB. For LLB. The last, uh, the date of test is, for offline test, the, the both ways the exams are conducted for LLB. For offline test, the last, uh, the date of test is 5th May 2018 and for online test, the date are 11th and 12th May 2018. The last date to receive the filled application is 20th April 2018. So still you have a lot of time for uh, LLB courses, to apply for LLB courses. Okay. And the age criteria, only candidates whose date of birth falls on and after October 1, 1996 are eligible to apply for admission. Date of birth as recorded in the secondary education board or university certificate only will be taken as authentic. Now what will be the scheme of test for uh, UPES law studies aptitude test? There would be six, uh, sorry, five sections comprising of language comprehension, quantitative and numerical ability, logical reasoning, legal general ap knowledge and legal aptitude. So you will have questions from all these sections. Uh, number of questions will be 40 from each sections and total number of questions will be 200. This was the examination pathway. What is the non-examination pathway for law programs? Non-examination pathway for law programs at UPES includes board merit, CLAT merit, LSAT India merit. Now CLAT merit and LSAT India merit for BBA LLB program honors, BBA LLB honors or BA LLB honors and BCom LLB honors candidate with minimum 50% marks in higher and sick senior secondary that is 10th and 12th and CLAT ranking up to 10,000 LSAT India score of 60 percentile or above will be exempted from UPES law studies aptitude test and will be invited directly for the group discussion and interview. So just if you have 50 like these are the minimum criteria if you have 50 percent marks <coughs> minimum 50 percent marks in your 10th and 12th and you have CLAT ranking up to 10,000, that is not above 10,000. You should have 
ranking that is you are among the first 10,000 students in, in CLAD or if you have 60 percent or above percentile in LSAT the only then you will be exempted from taking the you their uh, own exam okay for BTEC LLB honors program, the candidates with minimum 60% marks in higher, that is in higher and senior secondary examination and minimum 60% marks in PCM, that is physics, chemistry and math at senior, that is at 12th level and CLAT ranking up to 10,000 or LSAT score of 60 percentile or above will be exempted from UPES, AT and admissions through merit ranking. Okay. Then another way, another non-examination pathway is the board merit for BA LLB honors or BBA LLB honors and BCom LLB honors. Candidates who have sc uh, scored 85% marks or above 85 or above in their 10th and 12th and best 5 subjects, English as one of the compulsory paper, English has to be included among that best 5 subjects are exempted from UPS law studies aptitude test and will be invited directly for group discussion and interview. For BTEC plus LLB honors course, candidates with minimum 80% marks in 10th, 12th and 12th PCM are exempted from UPS law studies aptitude test. Okay, And their admission will be through merit ranking. Okay. Now another course that they are offering is M Design which is Master of Design. Again this uh, the name of the program is M Design which is specialization in transportation design, industrial design and interaction design. Eligibility criteria for this particular exam is minimum of 50% marks at higher and senior secondary level that is 10th and 12th. And second criteria is B Design, B Tech, B E in any discipline. BR or BFA 4 years in minimum 50 percent marks. That is if you are applying for this M design program you need to have it you need to be uh, either a B design graduate or a B tech that is a tech, tech engineering student or a design student or you need to be B in any discipline or a BR or a BFA with 4 years with minimum 50 percent marks. And the third criteria is valid seed score. You need to have a valid seed score which is 2017 or 2018 score or a valid UPES design aptitude test. So either you take this their UPES design aptitude test or you sit for seed exam. Both will be considered which will be followed by personal interview and presentation on the work portfolio. The date of exam is yet not uh, announced so it will be announced later and the last date to apply is also not Will, will also be announced later. Candidates having valid seed score will be exempted from UPES design aptitude test and will be invited directly for personal interview and presentation on the work portfolio. Now another uh, course that they are offering is Bachelor of Design. For Bachelor of Design, the date of test is 11th and 14th April 2018. And the last date to register is 3rd April 2018. Okay. And the, this, the exam will be online in nature. Now how one can apply to their various exams? So to apply for UPES courses, you can purchase the UPES prospectus and application form online or by sending demand drafts, demand draft or by cash. So there are three modes through which you can apply. First is by demand draft. Candidates can purchase the UPES prospectus and application form by sending a demand draft of Rs. 1850 in favor of UPES fee account payable at New Delhi to University of Petroleum and Energy Studies Enrollments Office UPES 210 second floor Okla Industrial Estate New Delhi 110020. Another mode is by cash. Candidates can purchase UPS prospectus and application on a cash payment of Rs. 1850 from their admissions counter which are available or uh, present at, located at 
Chandigarh, Delhi, Dehradun, Kolkata and Mumbai. Then there is another third and the easiest way is to purchase is to purchase online. So you can apply directly <coughs> through their website for their prospectus and application by paying 1850 rupees. Okay. Now let's see how international candidates or students can apply and what is the eligibility criteria for uh, the international students. Now first thing is that international students or NRIs who are non-residing Indians, such students must fulfill the minimum eligibility requirement which have been laid down for their chosen program at UPES. Now for international students for admission to a postgraduate program at UPS, the equivalence for the undergraduate degree earned by the candidate in his or her country shall be obtained from the Association of Indian U Universities AIU. In certain cases, students may be requested to obtain the necessary certification from AIU in this regard. It is recommended that students have the following for School of Business, MBA programs, GMAT score of 600 is required and for the School of Engineering undergraduate programs SAT score or SAT score of 1500 and for postgraduate program GRE score of 1700 cumulative is required. Students from non-English speaking countries should satisfy UPES that they have adequate proficiency in English in order to be able to undertake the program of their choice. If required, an undertaking from such students shall be taken to undergo the English language training for a specific period of time depending on the proficiency to be assessed by UPS on arrival before starting the actual program of admission. Qualifying TOEFL or IELTS or equivalent may not be mandatory but it is strongly advised. The students must possess a valid passport and visa for the duration of study. So friends, I hope you find this information in information beneficial <coughs> and helpful and please like, subscribe my channel and do let me know what else can I do for you, how would you like me to improve on this on the video. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye for now.